Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the virtual machine provisioning. So how we are going to provi uh, provide a virtual machine concept in our systems. So a server provisioning is defined. Server provisioning. So let us take that virtual machine as a server. So the server pro provisioning is defined. Defining servers configuration servers configuration based on the user's requirement based on the user's requirement so whatever the users means the people who are using the systems not only your personal systems whatever the concept you are taking the cloud also the server provisioning here is defining the servers configuration it is going to co uh, configure the servers based on the user's requirement. So the different uh, the configurations that takes place on hardware parts like CPU, RAM, storage, network, etc. So we are going to decide whatever the hardware you want, whatever the CPU you want, whatever the how much of the RAM capacity you want and what type of storage you want. So you, you can configure means the configuration is completely based on the user's requirement and the provisions is also here completely based on the user's requirement and we can think about the operating systems also the operating system configuration is based on the user's requirement like which type of operating systems you want to be installed and the applications also in the application area also you can install and you can configure uh, whatever the uh, facilities that you need on the applications okay the server provisioning is defined the servers configurations so the virtual machine is nothing but here the server so here this provisioning is defining the servers configuration that is based on completely on users requirement what type of hardware they are required and what type of configuration so required and operating systems applications everything on users requirement now let's see the uh, provisioning life cycle how the provisioning life cycle will be look like virtual machine provisioning life cycle okay so let us take uh, So here uh, it's a release virtual machine, release virtual machine and IT service request. I'm dividing the, to part the complete life cycle into different parts. So release virtual machine, IT service request and here the virtual machines in operation, in operation. And here the virtual machine provision is giving. So the complete virtual machine provision are divided into different life cycles. In at one life at one stage, how the virtual machine is provided. At another stage, how the virtual machine will be acting like that. Okay. And here. So these are all the stages, the life cycle stages. This is a requirement analysis. At the stage of requirement analysis, the starting it is uh, the uh, virtual machine provision is here the IT service request. So not the user. Uh, here the IT service request is uh, going to request about the virtual machine provision. Means they are uh, they are needing. Uh, they are deciding the configurations. So what type of the systems they want and what type of the uh, hardware they want and whatever the type of applications they want. So the, here the IT service request will be done at the requirement analysis. They think about the virtual machine provisioning. And next virtual machine provision. So it is uh, they allotted. After thinking they decided what type of uh, virtual machine provisions they want. Means they are going to load operating systems applications and configurations 
after that when whenever the virtual machine provision is allotted then they are ready to work on that virtual machines in operation that is running running the systems running and providing services providing services of virtual machines so after the completion of everything they will release the virtual machines that is the deallocate resources so that the another resources another project can handle that resources okay whenever that the project is completed they will deallocate the resources this is a virtual machine provisioning life cycle so at the time of requirement analysis the users here is nothing but the it services people they are request for the different virtual machines uh, configurations they want to decide after deciding they will load operating systems of applications and the configurations on their systems then they need to work on that uh, virtual machines operations means running and providing the services after the completion of everything they will release the virtual machines means deallocate the resources resources so that the other uh, resources uh, means the other machines can use the this resources thank you